Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. You're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brotherson and today we're going to be talking about these Electron carburetors for these little 65cc bikes. Stick around. So something pretty interesting is I've never actually fouled a spark plug on a modern two-stroke dirt bike. Uh, it's probably because I've leaned them out enough that they're not getting too much fuel. If you get too much fuel on a spark plug, that's a surefire way to uh, defoul it. Um, and I had never fouled a spark plug on any of the little bikes either up until just recently. And what's happening is my boys are riding more and more and I'm taking them into higher and higher elevations. And I've got the YZ65 here and the KTM65 over there. And both my boys are riding these bikes. I've got an eight year old and an 11 year old and they're riding with me. And we just came on one of our more recent camping trips. We fouled the spark plug on that 65. It was running so rich that um, it was just doggy, doggy, doggy. And it fouled the plug right as we got back to camp. And I'm like, well, it's the first time for everything. Um, and then right after that, we nearly fouled the plug on this one. I'm not sure if we did or not because it was almost starting, kind of not starting. Either way, long story short, I went on another riding trip and we were up at really high elevation, 8,500 feet, maybe close to 10,000 feet on one of these trips. And these bikes were both running pretty bad and it was pretty heavy. I mean, it was pretty hot outside and so density altitude was really bad. And then we had somebody else with us that was on a KTM 65 that had Electron installed on their bike and the bike ran flawless, phenomenal. And when I saw how much these bikes were struggling with just the jetting that I had in the, in the carburetors, I thought, you know what, I'm going to go and put Electron on these bikes. I'd only put Electrons on, on my bigger bikes before and I thought I'm going to bite the bullet and just make it work because I'm tired of dinking around with these smaller bikes and the jetting. The small two strokes are just a little bit more sensitive, actually quite a bit more sen sensitive than like a 252 stroke or a 302 stroke. And so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna solve this problem once and for all on these bikes by just putting Electron carburetors on these things. The Electron carburetors that I've installed on every other bike in the past have been lights out, spot on. I've never had bikes that ran better than my Electron installed bikes. So uh, what do we have for these little 65cc bikes? It's a 30 millimeter Electron carburetor and the things scream with them on. So I just recently installed them. And if you're doing it on a KTM 65, that's a 2018. I'll roll in some shots of this. There's not a lot of room in there. It's very tight between the carburetor and the rear shock. There's not a ton of room, especially there in with the frame. It's very tight. On the Yamaha, on the other hand, there is a quite a bit more room in there. So if there is one thing I can say about the Yamaha that makes it a little nicer to do this is there's more room to install the carburetor here on the Yamaha. So that makes it kind of nice. The Yamaha is a little wider, it is a little taller, and it is a little heavier than the KTM. And it makes it a little bit easier to put the carburetor on this, as you can see kind of in the, in the footage that I'm rolling in there for you. Installation on these things is not difficult at all. I took the fuel tanks off on both of the bikes. Um, you have to unbolt the radiator shrouds and then you take your, you know, your seat off, your fuel tank off. And then on the KTM, I had to, to oh, oh, obviously I'm taking off the silencer as well. On the KTM, I didn't take off the silencer because I had just uh, kind of done some high temp silicone there to keep it from leaky, leaking. So I, was able, I, left the, I left the silencer on the KTM so I didn't have to redo that. Uh, but then I swing, I will take off the, um, the subframe here, take off the two bolts on the bottom and then loosen the bolts on the top and then swing the subframe up and out of the way. And then on the KTM, I had to just take the one bolt out of the shock and swing it up, as you can see, um, to get the, the room that I needed. I didn't need to use an aftermarket throttle cable on e either of these bikes. I had just enough um, adjustment in the throttle cable to make it work. When I first installed the Electron here on the Yamaha, it would not idle. And so I had to, in, I had to adjust my throttle all the way out or in wh whichever way you want to talk about it up here on, you know, up at the throttle side and right down on the carburetor. And I had just enough adjustment there that I could get it to idle, but it wouldn't idle at all until I started playing with my throttle cable. So it's just something 
for you dads to note that you may need to you know, play around with a throttle cable. I didn't have to play around with a throttle cable at all on the KTM, it was just plug and play and it worked. So all you're doing is putting this carburetor on the bike. It doesn't take you, I, I would say that total, what, what it took on the first bike on the KTM, the one that I did at first, it was a one hour project from the time that I uh, started until the time I was completely done. I did it in one hour. Uh, similar thing here with the, with the Yamaha, although I spent a little bit more time playing with the throttle cable and trying to get it into adjustment afterwards. Um, but these bikes now, uh, we haven't done any major rides. We've just gone on a, a couple little teeny teeny rides and they're running phenomenal. And I think that they're gonna run perfectly even up at altitude. Um, if we go out to the desert at 3000 feet, they're gonna, they're gonna work really well. If we go up in the mountains up to eight and 10,000 feet, they're gonna work really well there too because that's what the Electron carburetor does. So um, it's a little bit more money uh, than some of the other things out there that maybe you've put on these bikes. But for me, I just got to the point where this is worth, it's, it's worth the money to me because I wanna take the boys in all these different places and I'm tired of the little jetting issues that I was having. Didn't have those jetting issues on my big bikes, uh, but I've had it here on the little bike. So it's just, maybe you can learn from my mistake and get Electron on your bike. If you're always varying elevation or varying wide swings in temperature, you might wanna put Electron on your son or daughter's uh, little mini bike like this. So. If you like these videos, please remember to subscribe to the channel and make sure that you're clicking the notification icon, the little ringing bell, so that you will get notified when I put out these videos. Also, you can support Dirt Bike Channel by using the links down in the description for Amazon or Rocky Mountain ATV or Motorsport, um, or you can support me on Patreon. Every once in a while, we give away dirt bikes, and all of this stuff enables me to do this and support my family, at least so far. Don't know how long it lasts, uh, but with your support, it can last. Um, hopefully a little bit longer. So that's all I got for you today. Hopefully that's a help to you guys out there that have some of your kids on these little bikes uh, because it's helping me out having electrons on the bikes. Thanks so much and we'll talk to you later.